I learned to code really quickly, really quickly. Just over three years ago, I knew nothing about tech. And within a few months of starting, I was landing client projects that were paying me decent sums of money. So how did I do it? Well, I put in my 10,000 hours. I'm just kidding. I'm sure we've all heard that saying, right? Anyway, I think it was Malcolm Gladwell that said that you need to do something for 10,000 hours in order to become an expert at it. And sure, if you did something for 10,000 hours, you'd expect to be pretty good at it. But learning isn't that simple. There are so many things that you can do to accelerate your learning and put yourself on the right path. And to be fair, if you did that for 10,000 hours, you would definitely be an expert. Before we get into this video, I just want to run the numbers on that 10,000 hours. If you practice coding for four hours a day, every single day, it would take you over six years to become an expert, according to Gladwell. I think we can do it a bit faster. Okay, so before you start learning anything, you need to actually have a reason to learn. For me, I wanted to learn to code because I wanted to build a tech startup and I didn't want to pay a developer. That was my purpose. Your purpose could be that you want to leave your current job to get a job at Meta, or maybe you just want to build some automation tools at home. My point is that if you don't know where you want to end up, it's really hard to design a roadmap for you to be able to learn something quickly and efficiently. Once you have a purpose, you can figure out exactly what you need to learn to achieve your goal. For example, if you wanted to learn how to build websites for your business or become a freelance web developer, you could build a roadmap for yourself that looks like this. If you don't know where you want to end up, you won't be able to create plans like this for your learning. And then you'll just find yourself picking random things to learn that won't really be that useful without any context. Once you've got a purpose and you know what you need to learn, you need to set a schedule. Now I know you may be thinking, well, I don't know when I can allocate time to learn, I just want to learn in my spare time. If you don't allocate that time to learn and follow that schedule with discipline, you won't learn anything. Trust me. You'll find yourself skipping your learning and using your spare time for scrolling social media or watching TV. That also means that if you've scheduled time for learning on a Friday afternoon after you get home from work or you finish school and your friends ask you to hang out, the answer is no. Once you've put it into your schedule, you're committed. You are going to hate me for this now, but you're going to love me for it later. Consistency is really important when you're learning something. So allocating time in your schedule means that you're going to have enough time to learn while still also having enough time allocated to the other aspects of life. That could be walking the dog or spending time with friends. I don't know, whatever else you do in your life. Getting used to putting things in your schedule is also a great way to maintain productivity with every other aspect of your life. Task lists are great, but transferring them into your calendar can help you to set more realistic expectations for how much you're going to get done. We all think we're more productive than we actually are, so this is a pretty useful tip. This next tip sort of coincides with having a schedule. You need to set deadlines. Like I said, I started learning to code because I wanted to build my own startup, and I knew when I wanted to launch it. So that was a fixed deadline for me. You might have a deadline of wanting to change jobs before Christmas. Or maybe you're starting college and you want to learn the fundamentals before your classes start. If you have a deadline, it creates a sense of urgency for your learning. This might be slightly unrelated, but I was watching a Tom Scott video earlier this week about a place in Poland where captains of huge ships can practice. You know, before they hit the water with their ships that are worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And one of the points that was made in this video is that when computer simulators are used for training, there is no sense of risk. Because you can just hit the reset button and start again. But when you're learning and training within a real world scenario with actual consequences, you tend to put more effort in. Deadlines not only help you to do something on time, they also help you to prioritize the essential parts of a task and prevent you from wasting time. If you need to learn how to build a basic website within two weeks, you're only going to focus on learning the skills that are going to teach you to build that website. Instead of deciding that machine learning looks pretty cool and you're going to experiment with that for an afternoon. Deadlines really do matter. And now, the final tip for learning to code quickly. Engage with the tech community. Watch YouTube videos about programming. Engage in conversations on Twitter. Sorry, sorry, X. Follow tech creators on Instagram and TikTok. I mean, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. In all seriousness, immersing yourself within the world of tech will help to drive your curiosity and keep you motivated. If you see someone doing something with their life and it makes you think, wow, I'd really love to do that you're going to have more of a drive to continue learning, especially if you're finding it tough and things just aren't getting absorbed into that brain of yours. Well, developers, that's it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy it and I hope you learned something. 
If you did, please do leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new, and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.